This is how you get to the cylinder on a Corbin unit lock. So, um, obviously, first of all, you remove the screws holding it on. And then uh, you peel the rose back. And right behind it, you can see this metal clip. And you're gonna wanna pry this back. And right underneath, zoom in a little, there's a little half moon shaped piece. And you're gonna wanna remove that. There it is. And then your knob will come off. Now, in order to get to the cylinder, we're going to have to pry this little piece off, and uh, I tried to do it before disassembling it, and I was unable to do so, so hopefully I'll be... Yep. Take it off that way. And here we have an inside snap ring. So I'm just going to take my snap ring pliers. Using these. Okay, there it goes. The tailpiece. And there's our cylinder. And in this case, it's one of these cool ones that has that master ring around the plug. Now that we have that apart, we wanted to take the other side of the knob off. We would have to remove that screw right in there. Ugh, this doesn't feel like it's supposed to come out. can do the same thing on the other side. I don't think that's ever been a part. Looks like I got the moon clip halfway up. Finally, okay, I, there the got that half moon clip right here, and now the other side will come out. I've actually, never taken this side apart. Let's see if it this comes off the same way. on there good yep all right same story not sure why you'd ever have to would, would want to take this side apart but there it goes all right very cool it, it looks like 
looks like these are pretty modular, so if you had the other parts, you could probably easily convert these into like one that has a cylinder on both sides. All right, yeah, cool. Looks like that is not designed to come apart. I'm pretty sure these are staked in. But yeah, pretty cool. Turns out you can actually punch these little pins out. Um, they go all the way through. second one out. Wonder if that did anything. Uh. Yeah, that's uh. Little bit of hammering actually does loosen up um, this piece, whatever you call it. But we're going to be hanging up on these little tail pieces here. And the way we get these out is we push it to where that pin lines up with the hole there. piece fall up and then we can get this rod out and hopefully yeah they'll just start falling out the bottom right there now we can drive this out the rest of the way apart.
Huh. We didn't have that flat spot, it put a socket in it. Okay, I tried to get it out the wrong way. And it actually does come apart fairly easily if you do it the right way. Well, this piece just falls out. And let's see, what else can we take apart here? Um, Another clip here. Okay, I'll never find that one. Okay, just pushes through. I'm only going to get it further apart by getting these roll pins out. more sense to remove. Let's start with that one. Okay. Another one of these pieces. There's that. And the spring. Okay, where was that? Okay, that 
piece just falls out. confident that that one's going to come out. Hmm. I'll be back in a minute. My roll pin, pu pin punch actually bottomed out on it. But I got it apart. see if I can get this whole thing back together.